Hey fam, let's get right into what it is we're going to talk about right here, guys. We're talking about sexual expression. Talk about hormonal disruptors, all right? So one of the things is that we have environmental hormonal disruptors, all right? So one of these things is BPA. And number seven, when it comes to plastics and plastic containers, you want to avoid that if you can. The reason being is these things are estrogen mimicking compounds in them and the overload of estrogen and the imbalance of our hormones as it regards our progesterone and estrogen and testosterone makes a big difference in a lot of things dealing with our health. And if it's an over uh, amount of estrogen in the system, a lot of detrimental things come to play, all right? Also, we're dealing with atrazine. Atrazine is a herbicide that is sprayed on a lot of crops. Uh, back in the 1990s, this guy by the name of Tyrone Hayes, he's a scientist, and he was working for a big company called Syngenta, I believe, and they wanted him to do a research on what the herbicide was doing to the environment. And what he found is that the herbicide that was uh, running off into the water stream was affecting the amphibian uh, natural life in a negative way, meaning that it was turning actual male frogs into female frogs, meaning male, genetically born male frogs were having, uh, were producing eggs. Also, it shows that those genetically male frogs who did not produce eggs, but who were still exposed to this runoff in the water supply, they preferred to mount a male instead of mounting a female when it came to sexual reproduction, all right? The reason this is big, guys, yeah, because this is found in our water supply. This is a hormone altering uh, type of endocrine disruptor, hormone altering herbicide chemical, all right? So let's talk about estrogen overload. Female, females, when you have the estrogen overload, it leads to breast cancer for many, and also it has a mascul masculinity aspect for it meaning that mentally and emotionally, the over um, the high levels of estrogens in a female can actually change her mental, mental and emotional state into more of a masculine state. Now this is big guys, because so this happens even early on before we are even uh, fully developed. Now what you have to understand guys, is when the body is developed guys, it developed like this. It's the spinal cord, and then the brain is the first organ that is formed. Now, the female and the male brain are different. They are anatomically different, physiologically different, and neurochemically different. The male and female brains are different. Now, if estrogen is able to cross the blood-brain barrier, when you're dealing with a uh, female uh, brain, it masculinizes that female brain. Also, this can have a major effect on the actual development of the hormonal expression of that female or that male, all right? Now we're gonna get into the chromosome aspect. So the typical male is born with what they call 46 XY. So it's 46 chromosomes X and Y of the chromosomes that make up the male, all right? That's in its natural state. Now for the female, it's 46 XX, all right? That's the chromosome that makes up the female. But what science is showing is that there are instances where there are extra chromosomes that are added to the XY, and it could be a XXY chromosome, but it still can be a male brain, but it can have the expression hormonally of a female. And this goes a lot into this heterosexual, homosexual, which I did not write in, in here, behavior, all right? This can have a profound effect on that, meaning that the individual can actually be born with the brain of the uh, male, but have the anatomical features of the female and the hormonal expression of the female and vice versa. This can be born with the male brain, but have the, uh, and have born with the female brain and have the anatomical uh, expression of the male. All right, so this can cause issues when it comes to hormonal expression. All right, so it's deep guys, it's real deep. So another thing that 
happens with overload of estrogen for the males is it's the feminization of the male. All right. So it can be done in the hips, and you can see that in the boobs as well. Men developing hips and boobs, but also mentally and emotionally, as I just explained. Again, estrogen overload tends to um, feminize the male physiology, anatomy, and its hormonal expression. Again, atrazine is the big thing in this. Feminizes, and I spelled that wrong, the male species, and it can inhibit the release of androgen in the embryonic stage. Androgen is the basically the testosterone and all the male hormones that are released during the embryonic stage. So again, guys, we're dealing with a complex issue when it comes to hetero and homosexual behavior, and it's a lot deeper than what it is that I expected. So we'll do another part three, and we'll break these down even further so we can get a better understanding. Also, guys, what you can best believe is birth control pills uh, are having a detrimental effect on the females that are taking those mentally, emotionally, and it has the potential to masculinize that female brain. All right, guys, leave your comments in the bottom. Again, be respectful. You can disagree. There's no problem with disagreeing, but disagree with facts, not with beliefs. All right? Sending you peace and love. Peace.